the highwayman by Alfred Noyes. The wind was a torrent of darkness among the dusty trees. The moon was ghostly galley and tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, and the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. The highwayman came riding up to the old end door. He had a French cocktail on his forehead, a bunch of lace at his chin, a crow of the claret velvet, and breeches of brando skin. He, oh, they fitted with never a wrinkle, um, boots up to the thigh. He rode with a jeweled twinkle, his pistol butts a twinkle, his reaper held a twinkle under the jeweled sky. Over the cobbles he clattered in flesh in the dark green yard. He tapped with his whip on the shoulders, but all was left in blood. He whistled a tune to the window, and, and who should be waiting there? But the landlord's black-eyed daughter, best the landlord's daughter, plaiting a dark red love knot in her long black hair. And dark in the dark old and narrow stable where it creaked, where came the ostler listened, his face white and peaked. His eyes were all as a madness, his hair like mold hay. But he loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's red lipped daughter. Dumb as a dog, he listened and he heard the robbers say, one kiss, my bonnie sweetheart. I'm after a prize tonight, but I shall be back with yellow gold before morning light. Yet, if they press me sharply and harry me through the day. Then look for me by moonlight, watch for me by moonlight. I'll come to thee by moonlight, the hell should by the way. He rose up right in the stirrups, he scarce could reach her hand, but she loosened her hair in the casement, his face burnt like a breath, as the black cascade of perfume came tumbling over his breast. And he kissed its waves in the moonlight, those sweet black waves in the moonlight. Then he tugged at his reins in the moonlight and galloped away to the west. He did not come in the dawning, he did not come at noon, and out of the tawny sunset before the rise of the moon. When the road was a gypsy's ribbon, looping the purple moor, a red coat troop came marching, marching, marching. King George's men came marching up to the olden door. They said no word to the landlord, they drank his ale instead, but they gagged his daughter and bound her to the foot of her narrow bed. Two of them knelt at her casement with muskets at their side. There was death at every window, and hell at one dark window. Or that's good thing. To her casement. To her casement, the road that you would ride. They had tied her up to attention with many a sneering jest. They had bound a musket beside her with a muzzle beneath her breast. Now keep good watch and they kissed her. They heard the, she heard the doomed man say, Look for me by the moonlight, watch for me by the moonlight. I'll come to thee by the moonlight, the hell shall the way. She twisted her hands behind her, but odd knots held good. She writhed her hands till her fingers were wet with sweat or blood. They stretched and strained in the darkness, and the hours crawled by like years. Till now on the cold of mid midnight, till now on the cold of midnight, cold on the stroke of midnight, the tip of one finger touched it, at least the trigger was hers. The tip of one finger touched it, she strove no more from the rest. Up she stood up to attention, with the muscle beneath her breast. She would not risk their hearing, she would not strike again. Well, the road lay bare in the moonlight, blank and bare in the moonlight, and the blood of her veins in the moonlight throbbed to her love's refrain. Clop, 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 had they heard it? The horses seemed clear. Clop, 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 in the distance, where they definitely did not hear. Down the ribbon of moonlight, over the brow of the hill, the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. The red coats looked to the priming. She stood up straight and still. To lot, to lot in the frosty silence, to lot, to lot in the echoing night. Nearer he came and nearer, her face was like a light. Her eyes grew wide for a moment, she drew one last deep breath. Then her finger moved in the moonlight, her musket shattered in the moonlight, shattered her breast in the moonlight, and warned him with her death. He turned, he stood to the west, he did not know who stood, bowed with her head down over the musket, drenched with her own blood. Now hear him to dawn, his face was great to hear. How best the landlord's daughter, the landlord's black-eyed daughter, had watched for her love in the moonlight and died in the darkness then. Back you spread like a madman, shining a curse to the sky. 
with the white rose smoking behind him and his rapier brandished high. Blood red were his spurs in the golden noon. Wine red was his velvet coat. When they shot him down on the highway, down like a dud on the highway, and he lay in his blood on the highway with a bunch of lace at his throat. And still of a winter's night they say, when the wind is in the trees, when the moon is a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas, when the road is ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, a highwayman comes riding, 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 a highwayman comes riding up to the olden door. Over the cobbles he clatters and clangs in the darkened yard. He taps with his whip on the shutters, but all is locked and barred. He whistles a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there? But the landlord's black-eyed daughter, best the landlord's daughter, lighting a dark red glove knot into her long black hair. The highwayman bow for 